welcome back to our last Sunny Munchies for this month. So today we are going to be making some delicious treats, so let's get started. To make the cookies, you'll need one half teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of cinnamon, or you can add more if you want to, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of vanilla. And this is optional, but you can add in some brown sugar if you want this to be really sweet. Also, you'll need two cups of oatmeal, dark chocolate chips, two large ripe bananas that has been mashed, and then one fourth cup of almond milk. So first we're going to combine the wet ingredients and that would be the mashed bananas, the almond milk, and then the vanilla. And I'm gonna mix it all together. And for the dry ingredients, we're going to be mixing two cups of oatmeal, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon, some brown sugar, and I'll mix it all together. And then I'll join in the banana mixture and then combine them until everything is properly mixed. And then after that, I'll add in the dark chocolate. And now I'm gonna let that sit for 10 minutes. And then I'll put them into the baking sheet. And basically I just put about one teaspoon of our cookie dough there. And I already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And now I'm just going to let that bake for 10 to 12 minutes. And after that, I took it out and this is what they look like. And I did put oil on these, but as you can see, it didn't really stick as long as you're using a parchment paper. And these tasted good. I also made a flat cookie version of it. And I just baked these for 10 minutes because I noticed that they actually bake faster. And what I like about these is that the outside corners are crunchy, but the middle is soft. And I also really like how they turned out as well because the texture and how they tasted were really good. Because last time I made this and it was hard rock stone, um, but I finally got the right proportion. And these are so filling and they are a great pastime snack. Now for the matcha milk tea, you'll be needing some matcha powder, almond milk, I'm using the unsweetened one, sugar to sweeten it and also to make our syrup later, and tapioca pearls, and I bought the cooked version but you can also cook them yourself if you want to. So first, we are going to be making the syrup. So the proportion is solely up to you on how much you will be making. So in here, I added in the brown sugar, the water, and then a splash of vanilla. And then I'm gonna let that boil to thicken it up into a syrup. And then once that's done, I'll turn off the heat and then I'll be adding in the tapioca pearls and mix them all together. So now we are going to be making the matcha milk tea. So in the blender, I will be adding in matcha tea and about one cup of and then instead of water, I'll add in one cup of ice. I also decided to add in one teaspoon of brown sugar because I'm letting my sister try this out. Now you can customize this onto your own taste and liking, by the way. So feel free to add in or add less of the ingredients. So in goes the tapioca pearls. I actually put a lot of it, um, but I didn't finish adding all the syrup because I don't want this to be super sweet. And then I'll pour in the matcha milk tea and mix them all together. And you get the best of both worlds. You can also add in more ice because usually this is best to serve when it's chilled or really cold. And since it is really hot here in the Philippines, this is an awesome treat to drink at this season. Okay, so one of you suggested that we actually try out the Sunday munchies. So here we go. My sister is gonna try it out. Actually, I've tried this already. The hell? It tastes good. Mm. These ones are chewy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> try it out, try it out. See, mm. vegan foods, right? Your vegan foods or treats doesn't have to be like that. And these are guilt free mm. because you can eat this. And also, I think these are the types of cookies that can fill you up. Yeah, right. yeah. can actually fill you up rather than eating, you know, the regular cookies and stuff. See, coming from a non vegan person, although I'm not vegan. I do eat in a plant-based um, diet, so yeah, we can work it. We can work it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and try it out. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. Is it Not good? Bad. Yeah, okay. it's good. It's it's yummy. It's like creamy. Creamy? Yeah. Yeah, and that's just almond milk. I didn't add any yeah. like dairy. Yep. Mm, surprising. Um, can you rate the cookies? From 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a 10. How about the drink? 10 too. Woo! We got a 10. We got a 10. Here is my dad's reaction. Let me taste it, okay? Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, you can try that one. Do you have antidotes for this? <laughs> no. mm, it tastes okay. <laughs> Okay, now that is 
the matcha tea, uh -huh. and there's like tapioca stuff in it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it tastes like milk tea. The one we used to buy and drink. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Do you think right. that this tastes better than the regular green tea? Because it's matcha. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's kind of uh, unique and uh, good tasting. So that is it. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye!